I'm Tina Beaglebeck. I'm a fourth year here at UT uh, studying history. And I am from a small town um, up in Sonoma County in California. And I'm the youngest of five siblings. The first time I heard about Texas 4000 uh, was actually when I was in a government class. And up in the front of the room there was a blackboard and some teammates had written on it, uh, we want you to bike 4,000 plus miles to Alaska. And I honestly, I didn't even pay any attention to it. I mean, I suppose somewhere in there I registered it, but I just figured, okay, this is an organization for super athletes or people, you know, that were really involved in varsity sports in high school or were already cyclists. And I was neither. I wasn't an athlete or a cyclist, so it honestly didn't apply to me. Um, and then a couple weeks later, I was walking, um, I was walking across the, the campus, and I was a transfer student, and somebody handed me a flyer, it was somebody in New Jersey, and they said, hey, come out for Texas 4000, you don't even need a bike. And I took the flyer, and I just read it, and that night they had an info session, and being a brand new student at UT, I didn't have anything going, didn't have any friends yet. And I was like, okay, I don't have anything better to do on a Tuesday, why not? And I went to the session and they played a tribute video and they had alumni and um, 2012 writers there. And I was so moved by what this organization does. I cried a little bit. And then I walked outside and I called one of my best friends, my Auntie Anne, um, who actually is already a cyclist um, in Chicago. And I called her and I said, Auntie Anne, I'm going to be a Texas 4000 rider. Like, I, and I told her all about it. And I went home that night and I just poured all of myself into the application and then somehow two weeks, uh, two months later, uh, I got a phone call that I made the team and that was it. Texas 4000 has impacted my life because of the people that I've met. Um, the cool thing about this organization is that it draws students from all facets of the university. Um, you know, it's really easy here, the school is so big, to get really pigeonholed with your interests. But Texas 4000 takes people from all of those groups, all of the states, all around Texas, even international students, and brings them together. Um, and you're, you're brought together not by just an interest, you're brought together by a cause. And I found that that's even stronger than any group that I've been a part of here. Um, you know, a lot of organizations here say that, you know, you'll meet your best friends. And Texas 4000, honestly, like, I didn't meet my best friends, I met my family. I think all of the pillars of Texas 4000 are really equally important, but if I had to pick one that I ride for and that speaks to me, it would absolutely have to be hope. Um, hope is that intangible thing that human beings can give to each other. You can't sell hope, you can't buy hope. Hope is something that someone gives from their heart to someone else's. Um, and I think Texas 4000 is you know, the perfect metaphor for that. It's not just students that want to raise money or students that want to ride their bike really far or take a vacation. It's people that want to connect to others uh, who are struggling and say, look, I'm here, I'm trying, I'm going to do something for you. A stranger that I've met before, I'm giving this, I'm giving my body and my mind and my time and my money to you. And I think that that's beautiful. Um, since I've joined Texas 4000, you know, I've paid much more attention to things going on in the cancer-related world. And, you know, I've read articles or heard people speak about how we'll never find a cure, that we don't have the scientific knowledge or the technology um, to find a cure or that, you know, there's such like an economic structure built up around the cancer industry that even if there was one, it would never come out because people would be out of jobs. But I can't live in a world that believes that. Um, I'm writing for hope that people are good and that people love each other and that if someone has the ability to save another's life, that they will. Um, and so hopefully I'm going to ride all the way to Alaska to prove that point.